हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद आसिम एंड वी आर डूइंग एड मैथ एड मैथ फॉर आई जी सी एस ई स्टूडेंट्स विच हैव सिलेबस कोड 0606 एंड फॉर सी आई ओ लेवल स्टूडेंट्स विच हैव सिलेबस कोड 4037 सो बोथ काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कैन गेट इक्वल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस कोर्स स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी फिनिश क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन फ्राम एक्सरसाइज नाइन of chapter number 9 name trigonometry and the topic of exercise 9.4 is graph of tri trigonometric functions question number 7 we finished in last lecture question number 7 all parts are related to graph of tangent function and the domain was given in radians 0 to 2 pi today we are going to do question number 8 in this question the graph of tangent function is given and we have to find the value of constants which are in the given equation so let's have a look question number 8 before i start this question i suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is add math where you can watch all previous lectures and after watching those lectures definitely you have uh, you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number 8 part of the graph of y is equals to a tan b x plus c is shown above sorry i have cough and flu so my voice uh, is not good today the graph passes through the point p pi by 4 comma 4 find the value of a the value of b and the value of c this question is very very easy if you know the concept of constants in the given equation what is c c is y shift that is the value of c occur where the graph is midway between the curve or you can say the mid of the graph so if you draw the line which is the midway or you can say another way to find the value of c just find the y intercept so y intercept as 3 and if you find if you draw the line like this from the y intercept you can see clearly this line is middle of the graph therefore c is 3 c is 3 very easy to find isn't it c is the y intercept in tangent function now coming about b b is related to the period the formula of the period of any tangent function is pi upon b when the graph is in radian otherwise 180 degrees upon b so c from your initial point that is 3 and c another point where the graph start in the same way just like start from 3 just like start from 3 so if i mark the point this is the point where the graph is start and this is the point where the graph is repeat itself 
so what is the length length is from 0 to pi therefore the period is period is pi so p is equals to pi is equals to pi upon b pi cancel to pi hence the value of b is equals to 1 therefore our given equation y is equals to a tan b x b is 1 1 dot x plus c c we have already find 3 so y is equals to a tan 1 into x x plus 3 is still one value we have to find that is the value of a you know the graph passes through the point p pi by 4 comma 4 it means this point satisfied the given equation so put pi upon 4 in the equation where you see x and put 4 where you see y so y means 4 is equals to a 10 x x is pi by 4 plus 3 so shift this 3 on other side it will be minus 3 a use your calculator to find the value of 10 pi by 4 10 pi by 4 is 1 4 minus 3 is 1 a into 1 is a hence the value of a is 1 therefore our final answer is it should be capital B because in the question it is capital B Hence, our final answer is capital A is equals to 1, capital B is equals to 1 and capital C is equals to 3. A student, answer in the book, in your book, A is given 2, which is not possible. So, A is 2 is wrong in your book. The correct answer of A is 1. So, A is 1, B is 1, C is 3. I hope you completely understand question number 8. How to find the values of constant from the tangent graph. It is not necessary to find the values in that order which is required like the value, of, uh, the question is find the value of A, the value of B and the value of c not necessary that you must find the value of a first then value of b second and the value of c third no not necessary because c can easily be find from the graph first that is why i find the value of c first that is 3 and also the capital b is also easily find after finding the period and then satisfied the equation by the given point to get the value of a as well kindly re I repeat again the value of a given in the book is wrong so this is question number eight and this is what we have in today's class a short class I am not well today this is question number eight what next next is also very easy question number 9 question number 10 11 12 13 14 now this exercise is going to be finished very soon i promise you i will do each and every question of this exercise just like we do in previous exercise so if you like today's video kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos, you will get the notification. Kindly share my videos as many as you can. Okay, students, good luck for next lecture.